Hey, Cupcake, give me some cake. Okay. Okay. Mmm, cake. Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay. Ready for something cool? Yeah. Do you want to be in this helmet? Yes, I'm going in this armor. Nice. Anyways, it's crazy land time. Cool. Here we go. Here goes nothing. It's our son again. Hola, me llamo Oson. You may be wondering awesome. what is on top of me today. <laughs> Can you guess what Ding. it is? Ding! Are you staring right at my soul? <laughs> it is called a tilde, or an accent, accent, and it is shaped like a diagonal line. In Spanish, all oh, my vowels can, can have a tilde. Told. Even I, Oson, am a vowel. <laughs> so that means I can have a tilde. When a tilde is above a vowel, it strengthens its stress. That means who pronounce it longer than the rest of the yeah. vowels in the word. If a word does not tilde, the then the stress is placed on the second to last it vowel. For example, <laughs> cabra, goat, because and cabra, it scary. will fit. No. In cabra, the first A is pronounced that longer. Is that again. means it has the stress. In cabra. The second day is pronounced longer. Now you try pronouncing these words. Ask yourself, where is the stress in the world? <laughs> I'm not saying that. <laughs> You're just staring right at my soul. The answers were, adios, lapis, comi, buffalo, magnético. You may be wondering why lapis has an accent on its second to last uh. vowel. Well, it's because if a tilde less word than sin L, R, or Z, then the stress is placed on the last vowel. For example, manual, hablar, en feliz. The stress is placed on the last vowel. So, if lapis never had a tilde in the first place, then they would have the stress. Avion will teach more about it. come over here. Unai, Anju, kom bit vi na konsonant an av ovel, te i merk the same sound as uajan da boi respektivelig. For eksempel, inne di fisu an fueron, to prevent dat, på ta tilde on te og pe av de oru. For eksempel, inne sa fu anak du o, jo do not need to do this with a, me, e, oro, ve ni, kom sa av ti det lettere sa, e, oro. It sinks within the letters shown, making it long with, for example, in Kaiman, says, on Boina, to prevent that, put a tilde on the E, for example, in Kaista, re i, anonymous. Tildes are also used to distinguish homonyms, for example, compare como, as, to como, how, that's also why some words have only one vowel. For example, C, E, E, F, T, C, yes, still the sari also used in foreign words to keep the same stress in the same vowel as the other language. For example, in the English word hexagon, the stress is placed on the A. We want the stress to still be on the A in Spanish, so it would be hexagonal. This does not happen with every foreign word, though. For example, the stress in the English elephant is on the first A. In Spanish elefante, it is on the A. No, let's review. In Spanish, an accent or tilde is a diagonal line placed above the vowel. It improves the stress of the vowel, or makes it be pronounced longer than the rest of the vowels. When a word does not tilde, 
The Stresses Place donde ah, se controla este Bauer. Y favor Luis no útil de sin L R por Z. Ven de Stresses Place donde las te va well. Buen de letters hay en tu combi cuina consonante na va well. De are pronouns ya en la respectively. Buen de letter y comes after a e oro. It's sound merges within the vowel, making it long. This can be y prevented by putting a tilde. Tildes are used to distinguish homonyms in Spanish, or words that are spelled the same, and some foreign words in Spanish have the same location of the stress on the same vowel. That's all for now. Here Adios. we go. Here. Have an accent. Yay! Oh, oh, son throwing me this accent ring at me. That is the worst. You die. Bye. See you later. Cake, 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 cake.